truth is, I wasn't the only one thinking about canceling. Luckily, your brother convinced you to go on the date, and well, I just flipped the coin over it. <laughs> Heads I go, tails I stay. This literally happened. When I saw heads come up, I was like, well, I guess we're doing this. We first learned about Andrew from uh, Katie, and it was about three years ago on Thanksgiving Day. For those of you who don't know Katie, she's very reluctant to share anything about her personal life, her love life, especially not with her parents. <laughs> I remember vividly when she told me that she had met Andrew online. I think a lot of you know the story. They weren't going to meet at first, um, but luckily decided to. So she said, I met someone. And being the curious mother that I am, I started asking lots of questions. <laughs> and she said, his name is Andrew. And she said, he is a mechanical design engineer. He snores. <laughs> and she said, he reminds me of dad. He's, re he's really smart. And at that point, I knew that Katie was hooked. first met, it was something that almost wasn't. On that fateful day, I was really tired and was thinking about canceling, but some feeling inside me was urging me to just reconsider. Andrew, I remember early on in our relationship, I was watching The Bachelor or some romantic comedy and I made some comment to you about the couples on TV. And I remember you said, real life and real relationships aren't a fairy tale like you're watching. That's always stuck with me because you're right. We've already been through a lot together in our relationship. And this clearly wasn't the fairy tale we originally envisioned when planning our wedding. But the most important thing is that we're still here today, choosing to be together and commit our lives to each other. First date, my love for you has grown to lengths I didn't even know existed. I've always considered myself an unlucky person, but you make me feel like the luckiest guy in the world, and I can't imagine living my life without you. I promise to continue to accept you and love you for the person that you are. I promise to support you and care for you in sickness and in health. I promise to always be your place of comfort and calm. I'll always do my best to make you happy and make you feel loved. I promise to listen to you, learn from you, and grow with you. idea how happy I am 
that you have found Andrew and that you have found happiness because not a single person on this planet deserves happiness more than you. Even though our love story isn't a fairy tale, I still believe that we got our happy ending. We promise to never give up on you and to always put us first. And last but not certainly least, I promise to always love you until my very last breath.